kids got a new machine. Well, new to me. This is a Klausing 8520 vertical mill. Uh, it is pretty much like your standard knee mills, except smaller, significantly smaller and lighter. But it's going to be able to do most of what I want to do right now, and it's going to be a good way to start, a good learning place. I don't really know much about what I'm doing when it comes to, to machining and uh, this kind of stuff. But... I've been looking for full-size mills, you know, maybe a bridge pour 2J or something like that. And I found a few, but they were in a lot rougher shape than I really wanted to, to deal with right now. I'm already, you know, in a restoration thing with this lathe. And then this thing popped up like a half an hour from the house. So, uh, yeah, I had to get it. I got a pretty decent deal on it, I think. Uh, came with a vise, got a whole bunch of end mills. Uh, ER32 call it set, a few other tooling, odds and ends, parallels, things like that. Uh, and the machine itself's in good shape. Um, I'll show you what I'm, what's, what we're kind of missing here. Some minor things. So we're missing a tag here. This belt cover has been damaged at some point, and we're also missing the, the rear and midsection of the, uh, the belt cover. The ways are in good shape except for this one ding back here really don't think that's going to have a huge impact on uh, its functionality as far as what I need. A few chunks out of the table, but otherwise looks good. And the guy that I had, uh, that I bought it from, he he painted it all, stoned the ways, cleaned everything up, had it in great shape. Ways move good, not a lot of slop. Uh, really, I mean, really not any... Very little, if any, perceptible backlash that I can tell. Maybe here. Gibbs are a little worn. Uh, we'll have to adjust those a little bit, but that's to be expected. Everything else works good. Um, we are missing the fine feed wheel here. But in all honesty, I really don't think I'm going to be using that that, uh, that often, if ever. She runs pretty quiet. Um, not a lot of vibration. Everything seems to be moving smooth. The only thing that I don't really like about it is reversing it. So uh, maybe we'll look at the wiring later. Try to figure out how to make that more efficient, but that's not an issue. Not a thing. Do have this power feed, but I've got to get the rest of that assembled. I think I'm going to need a bearing for that. Um, and we've also got another transfer gear in there that needs put on. At some point, we'll make a four-inch riser. It'll go on the column here and give us a little bit more room to work in the Z-axis. Yeah, there you go. Klausing 8520, pretty pumped about it. Um, I have played with it a little bit, not really done any projects, uh, any specific projects or anything. A few things we're going to have to do to make parts for the lathe, so we'll cover that. But we'll make a full video getting everything uh, trammed in and leveled out as best we can. Get this power feed hooked up. But really shouldn't have to do a whole lot with it now. Klausing 8520. Pretty pumped about this one. It's a nice little machine and we'll keep an eye out on eBay and Facebook Marketplace and everywhere else for parts. Maybe we'll get lucky, find some of this stuff. The rest of it, we'll just make it. All right, kids, I got another update video coming cover some other things that I'm working on, but I just haven't had time to do a full video yet.